This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross start your eyes. Estelle has joined us. Way in the morning, shade four five. Hello. Thirty nine minutes past the top of the hour. See, people don't know Estelle. Me and you have a running <laughs> joke. I call you Shady Labeja. <laughs> oh damn, that's a hell of a name. Damn, Sway that's... even doesn't look like <laughs> Shady Labeja. No, it's this, a whole. It's, it's a, a whole, whole. It's a whole. We had we had ended up having dinner one one evening. We had dinner one night, and then we bonded because she understood that Shady Labeja where it came from. It's, it's a, a whole code of the industry. It's yeah. just like the pe- you know how back. Mm. When Q-Tip said industry rule number 2080. Record company people are shady. shady. Right. We just added shady LaBeja. So, <laughs> okay, so for us non-shady people, what, what does shady LaBeja mean? Well, the house of LaBeja, now we're going back right. to, to, to like the, the, you know, the, the ball, the, the whole uh-huh. culture of the, the gay man and the culture. There's a house called the house of LaBeja. Like Paris is burning? Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, exactly. Okay. The Sweat. movie about the documented. That movie documented that whole culture of, yeah. um, of the balls in the house and how how people when they walk yeah. into the ball. So Estelle and I just started talking about you know some of the people in the industry, some of the men in particular, and we just nicknamed yeah. them all Shady, shady Labeja. Hilarious. So what makes you shady? Like would I be shady? Heather, you know something. Slick shit. Yeah, you, know, you, you not even. You know, y'all act like y'all thinking about it though. You went, you went, Estelle went, oh, I see her out. You know? <laughs> what does that mean? Do I don't be shady. Do he's I be not, shady? You know, she's not shady to me. Sway's never shady to yeah. me. Sway's actually really one of the, the super cool, like, how you see it is what it is, guys. Pretty much what it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm wrinkled on the on the radio and I'm wrinkled when you see me at the <laughs> exactly. club, right? Yo, no, you're always fresh, fresh. You good. Don't yeah, worry. I'm all right. Nah, yeah, quit lying. Sure. See, now, now they ain't going to believe nothing they're saying, man. <laughs> no, you I go out dirty on purpose. Wow. Uh, Sway. Ew. You know, keep your expectations low. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord. Yeah, that's well, if I go out on dates, you know, I'll take you to like a cheap restaurant. I can hear this Oakland coming Under out. promise, over yeah, deliver. Yeah, you hear it coming. <laughs> Still, you know, that's when that uh, come, you hear that rhythm coming. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm about to hit you on the head with something, Estelle. I'm too young. You oh, always come, real careful, Estelle. She's too young, she's too young she's for too this. Young. Yeah, it's you a lot. It's heavy. You good. You I mean, do. Like, <laughs> Every time you come up here, I'll be on you, too. You notice that, right? Oh, my word. Yeah. Sure this. He'll bite your neck. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Shady LaBeja. It's been so wonderful seeing everyone. <laughs> 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 so uh, last time we, we, we were up here, we were singing the song, Make Her Say, yeah. you know, Beat It Up, yep. and, you know, and <laughs> we, we were breaking down what that meant. You yeah. used to talk about that song, meaning, uh-huh. you know, just basically the uh, good sex, mm-hmm. good sex and, uh-huh. and um, crumbling that spinal cord. Well. Like, with the, however we put it. It was something to that effect. We should so, see all our faces right now. And, 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 but that was to, for the album True Romance, right? Yeah. And, that was leading. And, and, and true romance is this is um this album. I mean, it sounds like it's uh about various love affairs. It, it, yeah, with or, yourself, with other people, in general, in life. No, this this album was like the interim album. It is that interim album for me? It's kind of the album that deals with what you go through when you're not married and you're not single, or you're mm-hmm. just like in between. You're trying to figure life out. You know, you're just like there. You know, it's. I think a lot more people spend a lot more time in the space of trying to figure themselves out than they do married or in a, in bad relationships. You know, they mm. just like I'm here. You yeah. know, and even sometimes when you are in a relationship or you are, you know, whatever space you're in, there's always still the themes of like being having courage, um, being passionate about the wrong things, being passionate about the right things. You know, and going through the BS with yourself, the stuff you put yourself through, mm-hmm. and the stuff that you don't, and the stuff that someone else puts you through. Yeah. So that's why mm-hmm. that's what the album's about. It's about Basically, just being real with yourself and being able to, um, what's the word, um, deal with yourself, mm-hmm. you know, and accept all the rights, the wrongs, the get betters, the I'm getting worse, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm doing terrible things, I'm having terrible things being done to me, but I'm all right, I'll figure it out. You know? So let me for you for you for example like other than being late to stuff like what are, <laughs> like what are, what were some of the things you had to really <laughs> shady what are, what are, shady that's shady that right there shady okay. right there that was okay. the shady now we talk about truths oh, true romance oh, wow. no but so what did what did you have to discover about just what kind of things you felt like you were doing a disservice to yourself. Um, I'm, I'm mean sometimes when I don't need to be, you know, pr- probably more like a defense mechanism. You know, mm. I'm I'm built tough. I'm a, I'm the oldest girl. There's nine kids. We lived in a hood. And, you know, we're taught to be in defense mode before we're nice, you mm. know. And I was always like, man, what do I got to fix now? What, you know, like, and that was my attitude to stuff. And that is generally. So, you know, it's just what using, knowing when to use that versus using it all the time. You know, mm. that that's something I did a huge disservice to myself within relationships. 
Now, mm-hmm. even though you're in your in between stage, as you were saying, are you yeah. the type of woman that really like has a whole Pinterest board dedicated to her uh, future wedding? Probably not. No, no, <laughs> no. I'm not that girl. I do definitely have my dreams and my goals, and I pretty much just say, "Look, I want this, this, and this," and leave them three in the air. You know, I'm not the Pinterest lady, mm-hmm. but um, I see the point of it. I see a lot of people that have done it, and it works for them. So, hey, rock out whatever works for you. Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, you got a true romance hoodie? I do. Oh, I was going to bring merchant, you one, but I was running late. What had happened was... No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the right thing. All right, I want to play this song, Conqueror. Yeah. That's just a sexy title coming mm, from a woman, for is. me, in my opinion. <laughs> Why do you, you know. sweet? Why do you relate it this way? Huh? Why do you relate it this way? Uh, because you know I like a strong woman, right? You know, and I don't even mind mean. <laughs> if, you know, if the, if the passion is directed right, correctly. It is. It is directed. I, you know, I like. I like. It is. Yeah. Right. In, in this instance, though. <laughs> so conqueror, <laughs> tell me about conquering. Yeah, in in this instance with this record, to me, it feels more about when you're. You, I came out of thank you. And mm. this record kind of reads to me like, well, what do you do after a record like Thank You? You pick yourself up and you carry on. You know, you mm-hmm. don't just sit there being bored or being over life and say, well, this is it. I broke it up. He he broke my heart. So I'm just, I guess everyone's going to deal with it. Every guy after this is going to, you know, yeah. pick yourself up and just renew yourself. You know, that's the kind of um, energy I want to put out with Conqueror. We all make mistakes. We all fall on our face, you know, but you got to get up. I mean, I'd rather stand tall than live on my knees are the words, you know? Mm-hmm. And and it goes for everything in life. It's not just relationships. It's like there's a certain amount of dignity you have to have at some you have to get at a certain point in your life or demand, you know, mm-hmm. to, to continue just to just to be human. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that's what the record's for. It's like, man, cool, we're all gonna go through stuff, but what do you do? Yeah. You know, do you sit mm-hmm. there and just be mad at everyone and give it to everybody or do you pick yourself up and move forward? You know? Damn, you gotta you think about a lot, man. I do, man. Jesus I do. I have I, I I have time. I have tour bus time. Wow, tour bus <laughs> time, right? Very Thank introspective here. Yeah. Uh Conqueror. Estelle mm. is here. You wanna talk with her? 888 Oh. It's a beautiful song, Estelle, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Thank Conqueror. You. True romance is the uh project. You can get that on iTunes, mm-hmm. right? It's out right now. Good music. You've been very consistent in making mm-hmm. some high quality music. Thank, that's the plan. I think that should always be the plan, like quality over everything. Quality you know? over quantity. And, yes. You know, you're a Grammy Award winning um, artist. And, mm. mm-hmm. and trying to got... stack those. I'd like a few more of them. <laughs> so how, how many you got now? Just, I just have the one just and the one, one nomination for Thank You. So well, that, you know. You. And I think it's kind of good. It's kind of like a every album by the first album, which wasn't released here. But every album's had something Grammy related. So I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, you're on your way, man. Thank Thank you. You. And, and the interesting thing is, it's just, you, you it's, you may have been doing it for a long time, but you mm-hmm. know, um, you're still in the front part of your, you're in the beginning parts of your, you're <laughs> right. still in, I think you're still in the maybe, beginning like, of my career. Yeah, like maybe entering the second quarter. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't say. Yeah, you got a yeah. Grammy under your belt and yeah. yeah, you've done a lot of big shows. Now so. it's maintenance. Yeah, now it's maintenance. Yeah. Before you get to halftime, you take the halftime break. Yeah. You come back in the third quarter, you hit them again. Hey, right? But pretty status. soon the, the topics are going to change, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because you're going to find love That's again. Psh- we'll see. And I then mean, what you going to write about? Man, wherever I'm at at that point. I'm sure it'd be just as real. Just you as know. real? Yeah. And then he I got think... the magic. <laughs> Ooh, that, that might happen. That might happen. That might happen. We'll the see. The first day, yeah. The <laughs> sound. That's why you brought up. I'll be back. <laughs> That no, was me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> no, but Sway, you brought up maintenance, <laughs> and I was going to ask you too, uh, yeah. Estelle. You're always cameras are always following you. You always right. noted for fashion. You ever thought about doing a line, a clothing line, or something? Yeah, I just don't want to suck it. You know, I just don't. That's something that you cannot come back from or be like. You know, like people do fashion lines for the sake of it. People do it because they get a great distributor. I'm just not doing that mm-hmm. for the sake of it. I want. I have an accessories line. I'm building it the right way. I want to do it right. I just, psh, anything that I put my hand to is about legacy. You know, it's mm. about quality. I, I cannot be here for two minutes and then be like, well, that didn't work on to the next, you know. Right. No, I don't, you know, I don't do that. Don't you do live that. in the States or? Uh, I live here now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, so the, when you go back home, what does your, your friends and your family think of you? They just, they're like, like, some, some, I mean, they love it. They know me as me. They see me without makeup and with my hair looking crazy in my mm-hmm. regrowth. Mm-hmm. So they don't really care mm-hmm. on that side of it. But they still look at when they, you know, when people come up to them and they're like, "Oh my God, you're so and so sister or cousin or that's your, you know, it's your daughter or your niece." They're always freaked out. They're uh-huh. always like, "Man, do you know the impact you have on really? these youngins?" And I'm like, "Oh no, no, I don't." But you know, I don't because I don't keep it in my headspace. But it's it's awesome to 
know that you've made a difference in somebody's life in some way, you know, especially Absolutely. at home. But we don't have too many real black role models like that. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. just getting that, that spread now, you mm-hmm. know, so it's pretty awesome. So good. Estelle, ladies and gentlemen, yep. uh, she's hanging out with us. You mind hanging out with us while we do this oh, quick yeah, celebrity course. wire? Yeah. You've done celebrity wire with us uh-huh, before. Hey, All right, let's do on. it. All right. <laughs> Right, CG, what you got? <laughs> well, unfortunately, we got to start with some sad news that's coming out of Nicki Minaj's camp because two people who were part of her tour crew were involved in a stabbing that happened out in Philadelphia. This was yesterday night. Mm. A bar fight happened. Devin Pickett, a lot of people know him as Day Day. He ended up dying. And then uh, one of his friends, Eric Parker, was also stabbed several times, and now he's in the hospital. That's sad. That's sad. That's really mm. sad. Yeah. To so hear. definitely send some prayers out to yeah, her. There's condolences a, just, to the to their families. Yeah. Day Day yeah. and Eric yeah. Parker as well. You know, condolences. Yeah, because yeah. she's been losing a lot of people yeah. while she's been in the midst of her career. So hopefully she can get her head in the right space. Moving on to some other news in the world of ex celebrity couples. So Katy Perry and John Mayer, they always seem to be addicted to this on again, off again relationship. But now OK Magazine is saying if you put your hand on Katy Perry's belly, you're going to feel John Mayer's child. And that they are what? both expecting. <laughs> yeah. <Right? What? laughs> then they broke up. I thought they broke up. I stopped keeping track. You stopped keeping track, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now we'll also see her walking down the aisle to meet him. They maybe alluded sooner to than that. Later. They alluded to that. They've got sources. So, I mean, it's going to be able, it's going to be easy to um, say if she's pregnant because you actually need physical proof uh-huh. as the months go by. Yeah. Uh, but now, another ex-pairing, Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose, we yes. know how they're having custody issues. He's trying to get more time with uh, his son, Sebastian, and he's got some proof he's bringing into court because he has photos from Amber Rose's home. So they're no longer living with each other. I don't know how he got these photographs, but he has photos of um, her backyard, and you see all this dog's poo everywhere, like near <laughs> Sebastian's little toys, yada, yada. Oh, and then he's also saying that this doggy gets so hungry that he eats his own feces, but then goes and licks this little boy's cheeks. Dude, dude. <laughs> So they trying to paint Amber as a filthy mama. That shit face. Um, <laughs> you know what, up, Sway? Man. Get out. Messed up. You can't let, let the... my eyebrows. Too soon, Sway. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon out there. Pull out. Pull out. <laughs> yeah. it's too soon. Yeah. Shit, a little baby. You can't oh, let yeah. the dog with the feces tongue lick A the baby. lot of people let their dogs lick on them, Sway. Mm-hmm. Like, let's not act like you don't see this happening. People be kissing their dogs in the mouth and petting them. And, yo, you one of those of... people, Estelle? Mm-hmm. No. No. Mm-hmm. no? You don't let the dog kiss no. you in the mouth? How? No. No. Kisses for no dogs on the mouth. I don't do that. You no. don't do that, right? I grew up with the dogs and pets, but no. No, no right? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got anything else, Trace? You had a yeah, high story. Like, yeah, this is the meat of Celebrity Wire. It has to do with Jay-Z. There's oh, nothing positive. I don't want him coming <laughs> after me, so I'm going to say allegedly a bunch of times. But New York Daily News, if you pick it up and you look at the cover, you will see the headline saying that Jay-Z is reportedly facing a paternity suit because there is a 21-year-old named Ramir. He's out in New Jersey. Maybe Heather B. knows him. He's saying that he is the <laughs> love child of Jay-Z and that his mother, whose name is Wanda, hooked up with Jay on the sexual side, obviously, back in the early 1990s. Now, back in 2014, I'm sorry, back in 2010, Jay-Z was initially supposed to take this, you know, paternity test, but somehow he was able to back out because his lawyer said, how could he have done that? He doesn't have any property out in New Jersey, you know, near Empire State of Mind. But actually, he does have some real estate in Jersey, and this mother is saying that he basically finagled some lies that the judge believed. So she's trying to bring him to court now. So he's 21. So what is the mother trying to get back child support payments? The kid is 21 this, this, now. This, this, uh, let me stop. Let me you you, you be careful? You I, I'm going to read. I need be to brave. read. Be brave. No, I'm asking, I be brave, questions. Estelle. No, I'm just like, because I just always, I'm always like, who who brought the what? I'm not I'm asking a question. Who brought yeah. the, who brought the. The story? The, the story, yeah. Was it the kid or the mom? Oh, both. Wow. They've been trying and for a guardian. couple of years. Like in 2010, apparently, according to this. It's yeah. information. So the New York Daily they, News. They, 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 Daily News, they tried to get a paternity test then. It got thrown out. But it's just, you know, back then, I was Jay, like, you know, the early Jay-Z d- days. You know, 
I don't see him going out with a girl named Wanda back in the 90s. Wanda so was a like, popular name Wanda back like then. Shakisha, nah, Wanda wasn't popping in the a 90s. Shanita. L- Low Wanda. Low Wanda. A show Wanda. Listen to Girls, Girls, Girls to Song. <laughs> he I never said the, no Wanda. He never Wanda. said a Wanda on Girls, Girls, Girls to Song. She need a Low Wanda, a Co Wanda, oh, yeah. a Show Wanda. No, not, not just, not just Wanda. Wanda. That's like somebody's <laughs> mother name. That doesn't calculate. Maybe that's why he didn't want to claim. Thank you, Tracy G. <laughs> uh, Estelle, thank you for thank all you your for input in that celebrity wire, girl. I was just here so I don't get fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how I feel. A true Romance is the name <laughs> of the album. If you're looking for some good music to uh, yep. to listen to over the weekend, mm. buy this album, True yes. Romance. Go yes. on, on online right now. Yeah. Uh, Stream it, whatever. Just have a listen to it. Let us know how you feel about it. And, and, and let her know directly. Hit up yeah. Estelle directly on, on social on media. On Twitter, Instagram, at Estelle Darling. And on Facebook, forward slash Estelle. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.